So in this video, I will be reviewing the very special purple double seat cushion on the Aeron chair. This is specifically an Aeron C Classic, which has the same seat dimensions as the remastered. I'll also be talking about the fit on the Aeron B and A. Um, specifically, I'm going to be evaluating this cushion across uh, five different attributes. The fit on the Aeron, the comfort, the look, the quality, and the noise. Because it turns out some of these cushions make a noise, including this one. Um, so we'll be getting into the overall details in this video, but just to cut to the chase, this is a really wonderful cushion. Um, this was not the one I ended up keeping, but I do think it's the most comfortable option if you really want a ventilated seat cushion. So this has that unique sort of matrix polymer thing going on. There's a lot of competing seat cushions in the market. I tested six of that design. Um, the purple double was definitely the most comfortable. Um, I think overall it's a really solid option and in this video I'll explore all of the reasons why. So the purple double fits pretty well on the Aeron C. The width is really nice in the front. Uh, you can see how it flushes up with the back here with that straight edge. It's a little bit um, not wide enough in the curve because we're still doing a bit of a square peg round hole thing. Um, and we're still quite a bit short in the front, about four and a quarter ish inches, which is my biggest issue with it. But overall, I'm gonna give it a B minus for fit on the Aeron C. On the Aeron B, it's gonna look like this corner, which is a bit better. So it's only 2.75 inches um, too short now, but it is starting to uh, be a little too wide in the front. It does fill out the rear even better now. So. Um, overall, I'm going to give this a solid B for fit on the Aeron B. On the Aeron A, you're almost reaching the right depth, um, but the width is really getting to be too wide, unfortunately, with that 18-inch dimension. Uh, overall, it's going to hang over in a way that I'm a little worried about how it might affect the comfort. It's going to create kind of a slope here. Um, so overall, I'm going to give this one a D plus for fit on the Aeron A. So overall, the purple double looks all right on the chair. It's got that gray heathered look. I would have preferred a black. It's got this big logo that I don't really care for. Um, it's got these, these handles with the purple stripe on them, which are just, I think, a waste of material. Um, you can definitely carry this thing by grabbing it. Um, and you'll notice you can see the edge of this heavy duty rubber bottom, um, which is, I think, a minor distraction as well. Um, I think also notable is it's a very, very square design. So this is another example of a square peg round hole situation on the Aeron where I would have preferred something that had that curve that really uh, sort of flowed and followed with the Aeron better. So for me overall, the, I give the look on this one a C plus. So let's talk about the quality of the purple double. So overall, this is a very high quality item, and I think it really comes across in the case. The top has this really soft, thick fabric on it. Uh, the bottom, this is some heavy duty rubberized something. I don't know, vinyl probably, um, but very, very heavy duty. And the handles are crazy heavy duty. I actually carried the, the full stack of all of the cushions that um, I'm checking out on top of this one and there was no problem. So I don't think you need those handles, but they are not gonna break. If you have some reason you think you need them, uh, you'll have them forever. Um, and the zipper is super heavy duty. So this is one of those zippers, I don't know if it's water resistant or what, but uh, it is much tougher than any of the other zippers on cushions not made by Purple. Um, so overall the case is definitely uh, best in class for quality and when you take out the actual cushion, um, I do want to talk about the actual material. And this material, I'm really trying to figure out if there's really much difference between this and the generics. I will say that um, it is a little bit thicker to my eyes than some of the generics, especially on the rear. That's quite a bit thicker than some of the generics. Um, and yet it's still much softer than the generics. So there's something going on with the polymer that is a little different. I'm sure their website explains it a little better than I'm explaining it now, but um, to my eyes, it is in fact a little bit of a unique 
material. Um, and in terms of the actual, the one I got, I mean, you can see different people complaining about imperfections. Mine is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, there aren't significant imperfections, certainly none that bothered me. There's maybe tiny holes here and I don't know, a crack or two. But overall, I would say that um, this particular unit had fewer imperfections perhaps than some of the generics. Um, so overall, this is an extremely uh, high quality item. Uh, I'm gonna give it a solid A. So let's try out the purple double. So the purple double uh, definitely makes a great first impression. I would say that when I first tried it, my belief was I would end up choosing this cushion. Um, I think the reason it makes such a good first impression is the top layer is really soft and the bottom layer is a little firmer. So you really feel like a pretty even amount of support for the entire part of your body that is in contact with the cushion. Between that and then feeling remarkable amounts of ventilation, um, it's a pretty unique feeling. So I think I had a really good first impression of this pillow. Um, I think when I sat on it for extended hours, uh, it still held up pretty well. I think it's soft enough that you can forgive it its, its faults. Um, but I will say that what I noticed in terms of pressure points was mainly at the front edge here. So I kind of, I messed around with changing the height of my chair to try to take some of the pressure off. But you can see for me, this is a good, you know, 30% <laughs> of the available, maybe 40% available thigh that could be distributing more of that weight. But because it's only 16 inches deep, uh, that wasn't really happening for me. So that's gonna be an issue on the C. It's gonna be less of an issue if you're on the B or the A. Um, again, this might be something that's a little bit more for someone who's a bit taller like me, but that was a little bit of an issue. I think regardless, the fact that there's this hard corner on the front edge is just doesn't make sense to me. I think it should be a little bit rounded so there's not any possibility of something poking into you. Um, but I would say that even after two hours, uh, this was the third most comfortable cushion in my testing. I didn't feel like I really needed to get up and take a break and try out a different cushion. Um, so it really held up well, and it was definitely the top performing ventilated cushion overall for comfort. Um, so pretty great in that regard. I think one other thing I would note just in terms of the feel of this cushion, you can, <laughs> I think there's a term I saw used for this, but you can feel the cells kind of collapsing. Um, so as you shift around, there's this matrix on top and there, it's so th thick with a soft layer and a firm layer you can really feel the cell walls kind of shifting to the side. Um, so I don't, I don't think that's a problem. It's just different and uh, didn't bother me at all. But if, if you're someone who might be annoyed by something like that, it is a consideration. Um, overall, great performer. I give it a B plus for comfort. I think the comfort score would probably be higher for you if you're a little shorter than me or you're on the Aeron B uh, or A. Uh, but for the Aeron C, the depth issue is really a factor. So let's see if the purple double makes a noise when you sit in it. Yeah, so uh, this was the loudest cushion and the reason I decided I needed to even talk about noise um, was this cushion. So it makes a loud kind of gripping sound that um, even my, my fiance who works across the room from me here at home during COVID times, even she was noticing the, the weird sound it makes when you get up and down. Um, so, you know, you, don't, you can decide for yourself whether you want that to be a factor. You can see my scores broken down by the different criteria I was looking at. For me, I ended up feeling like, yeah, it kind of mattered. I mean, it didn't matter as much as comfort or fit, uh, but I wanted to factor that into the overall scores of these cushions. Um, so it's getting a lower weighting than comfort and fit, uh, but I have to say as the loudest, weirdest sound I've ever heard from a seat cushion, uh, it's getting an F for noise. 
So before I close out, just a reminder, you'll find links in the description to learn more about the products featured in this video. Uh, if you do end up following one of those links and make a purchase, it's a really nice way to show your support. Uh, helps out content creators like me. We make a small commission on those purchases. Um, so very much appreciate if you do end up using those links. And with that, let's finish out the video. So that's the purple double. It's pretty great. It's an awesome cushion. When I first sat on it, I really thought it was going to be the one for me. Ultimately, it's not. Uh, when you really look at the different criteria objectively, even giving more priority to comfort and fit, um, a lot more priority to comfort, it's still overall the grades for me were a B minus on the Aeron C, a B minus on the Aeron B, and a C plus on the Aeron A. So I do think it's the most comfortable ventilated seat cushion on the market. Uh, I tested many. I don't think it was the best cushion for me. Ultimately, I, I felt that the Strata mesh, which was meant for the Aeron chair, because of the custom design was able to distribute the weight a little bit better and ultimately made it more comfortable. So the Strata mesh is the one I kept. I think if you're looking for a budget option, that's another reason you might hesitate on the double. Uh, it is quite pricey. There's a cushion called the Tomite, which was my favorite generic knockoff uh, sort of polymer mesh cushion, which you'll find a link to. That's my recommendation for a budget ventilated cushion. And if you want a budget cushion that is just extremely comfortable but not ventilated, I can recommend the Millard Memory Foam. So Memory Foam isn't for everyone. It does tend to get warm. So complete opposite of this ventilated thing. Uh, but that one was a pleasant surprise. So overall, Purple Double, very special. Will always have a place in my heart. But it's going back to purple. It's not the one I'm going to keep. And I'll miss it. But I hope you end up choosing the seat cushion that's right for you. And I hope you found this helpful.